I'm here with the Sephora Tint Infusion in color 50 Mocha. And I have not yet primed my face, so I'm going to go ahead and put on this Benefit Professional Primer. And I'm in need of, I was in need of a new foundation, so let me try this one. I didn't see that many reviews on it, so. And it's supposed to be comparable to a high-end foundation, and I'll put that high-end foundation in right here. Light to medium coverage, buildable, 12 hour hydration, dermatologically tested, and non commodogenic. And it's this, again, it's the Sephora brand. And it has sort of the dropper. So one, two, three drops. Three long drops. And what I like to do is I'll put it on my face first, kind of tap it around my face. Buffing brush and then my lighting is actually kind of yellow today so you can see how it matches pretty well I should have done them see this is my skin and that's it there let's see This is natural light, so we'll see better on this side since the window's over here. And you can kind of see how it blends in. Okay, so I'm going to let it set. I'm going to put on some blush and maybe some concealer, highlight, and I will be back. looks pretty good compared to my chest and it's really light and it is about it is not about it is 158 and I will check back maybe 5 p.m. it is 5:35 p.m. and I'm still holding strong with this foundation um in person it looks a little light but when i took pictures which i'll show you here it's super light so i'm not sure if i'm going to keep the foundation um because it doesn't match really well um yeah so i'll check back at the end of the night to let you know my final thoughts Guys, it is 11:04, and it is the end of the night. Clearly, it's almost the next day. Um, I don't believe this foundation claims to be long-lasting. I will put all of the specs and claims in my blog. So I'll leave the blog name here. But um, all in all, I mean, in person, I think this foundation looks amazing. But again, when I do a camera flash, it looks horrendous. But I think I'm going to try it out for a few more weeks and I'll do an update on my blog, the same blog post, and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it after my final. It's very light. Again, it's light to medium coverage. It's buildable, but only buildable from light to medium. It's not a full coverage foundation. Um, if you have dry skin, I would, as always, I would definitely recommend moisturizing your skin before you put on the foundation. Don't say anything about... SPF or anything like that. So if you guys have tried this Sephora Tint Infusion, um, definitely let me know your comments below. I typically wear the MAC Matchmaster in 8.0. So this is a little more red based and this is a little more yellow based. Alright, catch you guys in my next one. Bye!